Hey, what's up guys, it's George. And in this video here, I want to talk about one of the best and worst things that you can do on this journey of quitting weed and essentially transforming your life. And I'll start with one of the worst. And this is uh, one of the worst things that you can do on this journey is to focus all of your attention and focus on the fact that you're quitting weed. That, uh, you know, you essentially become like a, a deer in headlights. Uh, that, you know, it's just like all you can think about and all of your energy and everything is just on, uh, you know, about quitting weed. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm on, uh, you know, uh, I'm into the second stage now or uh, I'm going to be, uh, uh, you know, having anxiety and night sweats. And, oh no, now I'm on to week two. This is where, uh, you know, this part's going to kick in. And, oh no, and, uh, you know, I'm at, I'm at stage four. So this is definitely when, uh, uh, you know, post-acute withdrawal syndrome is going to be kicking in. And, uh, uh, and it's like, everything uh, is focused on the fact that you're quitting weed. And I get it. I know that it's easier said than done. I have been there. But what I can share with you from, uh, you know, someone who has specifically coached uh, hundreds of people one-on-one -on, -one on the specific topic of addiction and, and, and quitting weed and, and transforming their life is that the, the people that tend to be the most successful are the ones that instead are more focused on where they're going. And that's really what I try to do when I'm working with people and I'm coaching them is I try to uh, almost like trickly and uh, 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 sneakily to quickly transcend beyond, uh, you know, this, this whole quitting weed thing and instead get them to focus on their purpose and their passion and where they want to go with their life and, and who they want to become. I'll give you an example just of today. Someone, a uh, young man that I just started coaching with and, you know, we get on the call and he's like, oh, you know, I've been smoking weed and it's just so hard to quit and everything and uh you know but by the end of the call i had them all excited uh you know because you know as the, the call transitioned I got him to commit to some uh homework assignments and some immediate action steps that he's going to uh take you know take immediate action on so he can quit weed and then started talking to him and found out that you know he just recently started you know he has a job but he also just started a business on the on the side uh, that, uh, um, you know, he's, he's building up just a couple months and I asked him, I said, you know, hey, how much have you, uh, you know, made with this, this business so far? Oh, not that much, you know, just started a couple months ago and I said, no, seriously, how much have you made so far in a month? You know, no judgment. We all got to start somewhere. Um, in all my businesses, I never made, sometimes didn't even make anything in the beginning. So, you know, what'd you make? Well, you know, so far I've made, you know, $800 in one month. I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? $800 in one month? You know, you're telling me that's not that much. Uh, and this is a side business that you've just started just a couple of months ago. I said, that's phenomenal. You know, let's focus on the victories. And so then I said, hey, are you tracking your, your income? You know, are you tracking this money? You know, do you have it? Uh, are, you, are you tracking this? Oh, no, not yet. Okay, well, hey, as a homework assignment, as a coach, after we get up this call, create a spreadsheet, uh, uh, you know, a monthly spreadsheet and start tracking the money that you're generating from this business. That way it becomes a business and just not just a hobby. And so, okay. And then I asked him, how much money would you need to make in order to be able to quit your job? I said, hey, you know, is this job that you're working at, is this something that you're passionate about and you want to work for the rest of your life? No judgment either way. And he said, no, you know, I don't want to, I don't like this job. I want to get out of it. I said, so how much money would you need to make in order to be able to quit this job so that you could go full time with your business? And he said, no, I need to make about $3,000 a month. So I said, great. You know, you're already a third of the way there, just about, you know, by the time you hit $1,000 a month, you're already a third of the way there. Uh, so, you know, by the time you, if you keep at this rate, keep take on your, uh, you know, just uh, after work and we got free time, keep building on this business before you know it, uh, six to 12 months from now, you can easily make that $3,000 a month and quit your job and then dedicate even more time into your business. And this is exactly what I've done. And this is why I haven't worked a job in many years, over 10 years, I've built many businesses. Uh, uh, and before you know it, he was all excited and he's talking and dreaming and everything. And, uh, and, uh, you know, he decided that the whole next call, he just strictly, we just strictly want to talk about business and all excited and passionate. And guys, this is what it's about. This is it. Instead, focusing on where you want to go, uh, just distracting yourself with purpose and passion, getting more excited about where you're going and the dreams and the goals, the things that you're working on than to stay focused on the misery and oh this is so awful you know i'm quickly oh my gosh and, and and thinking of this as like a torture and that you're going to be in prison and your life's going to suck for the rest of your life and that uh you know it's just oh i gotta give up the thing of my love i gotta love this and everything instead it's no let's focus on where you want to go let's get excited you know this whole process is supposed to be incredible this is this is not supposed to be 
uh, um, uh, a bad thing and suffering and your whole life is damned and all your fun is over with. No, this is the gateway to having a more rich life, to having a more rich and fulfilling and exciting and fun life. This is what you got to focus on and where you want to go and how much more exciting and rich and joyful and energetic and playful that your life will become rather than just staying trapped in a prison of an addiction that you wish you could quit but you couldn't and the thought of living without smoking weed is just you know like a, a, a you know just like a miserable existence guys no we got to focus on making this exciting get distract yourself with purpose and passion uh, 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 get excited where you want to go you know get this is why I'm a big one on journaling I get people to take out a journal start writing down their goals short-term goals long-term goals and, and, and start focusing on you know I'm, I'm always I'm, I always have goals that I'm working working on I have physical goals I'm in the middle of a parenting course right now that I'm taking that's exciting that I'm, uh, uh, I'm in the middle of a, a, a breathing co a breathing program that I'm taking and, and I'm always working on different things and projects and uh, and business goals that keep me excited and that way your life becomes the drug rather than living a miserable existence where you just look forward to you know that escape you know oh Mary Jane taking some hits so you can escape from your miserable existence that's not a way to live all right so I get it like I said I know it can be easier said than done but I have been there and this is why I'm sharing and talking to you from experience someone who's gone through the suffering someone who's been there done that and, and, and work with many many people and sharing with you what works and that it's going to be a lot more effective and enjoyable for you to focus on where you're going and what you want to do with your life rather than living in the past that's why you know if you take a look at a car you know if you're driving in the car you know uh, uh, it's more effective to look at where you're going that's why they got a big old windshield for you to look ahead and just a small little rear view mirror if you're just looking in the rear view mirror the whole time you're gonna crash you know the, yes the past is important we can learn from it but the reason why that rear view mirror is so small and the windshield is so much bigger because it is more important and effective for you to focus on where you're going than to live from the past and to, to, and to, uh, and to stay focused on what is behind you. All right, I hope this helps guys. Stay strong, distract, your, distract yourself with purpose and passion. Tonight, before you go to sleep, write down, take some action on, on your goals and what you want to create. Write down some goals, some things, some projects, what you want to create over the next week uh, uh, and take action on it immediately. You know, the worst thing that you can do is to, uh, you know, get excited about an idea and take no action at all. Because then it's just a dream. And a dream, dreams are a dime a dozen. Dreams is just, uh, you know, wasted potential. But once you start to write it down, once you start to schedule some action, once you start to take action, that's when that dream becomes real, all right? So if this inspires you, motivate you, uh, I don't care what time it is, if you're ready for bed or whatever, this is more important than anything. Take some time to write down your goal, some, you know, three or less goals that you want to accomplish over the next week, uh, or, or the vision and purpose, what you want to create with your life, and then take at least one little piece of action right now. Even if it's something super small, just like creating, creating a quick spreadsheet or, uh, or sending an email or making a phone call or, uh, you know, or, or creating a little plan or something, whatever. Take some little piece of action. This is how dreams become real. And uh, 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 our destiny is formed in moments of decision. All right? So I hope this helps, guys. Let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. Peace.